Hello everyone. A few people have asked me recently why do I carry weight in the back of my Jeep? So it usually takes me a few seconds to understand what they are talking about. Uh, and no, I am not carrying uh, weight in the back of my Jeep. Let me show you what it is. So this is what people are referring to when they are talking about the weight that I carry in the back of my Jeep. Those are actually a wood board uh, that I made uh, to level the Jeep uh, when I sleep in it. I don't always uh, end up on a flat terrain, so in order to level my bed, if you will, uh, I use those uh, underneath the wheel to level the, level the Jeep. And there are also many other ways I use them. Uh, let me show you. So first let me take the board off the back of the Jeep. And when I put it Put them back uh, together i'll show you uh, the system that i uh, that i made so that they don't fall off you know on the highway or when i'm on the trail it's pretty simple you just need the socket if you're one and one in. i put the ntc's on the on the bolt just because i have a little uh, recess hole here and it accumulates water so I don't want it to get uh, to get stuck on me and that's it so typically before I do uh, anything or take the board of the back of the Jeep uh, I check how bad the uh, the, the terrain is so uh, I have a protractor in the Jeep that I keep uh, handy and first thing I do is I check how how level uh, the terrain is uh, and then I decide if I'm gonna take the boards uh, off the back and use them or not um, so this is how I use it so the way I checked how the how bad or good the terrain is how level it is is I uh, measure the angle on the my bed platform here I don't have the mattress today but the mattress goes uh, goes right here uh, and I know that Today I didn't park on a, on a flat uh, flat terrain uh, just for the for the video. So let's see how bad it is. I have 2.6 degrees uh, side to side. So and I think it's leaning this way. And I have 0.7 degree front and rear, and I think it's going down. So I would need uh, to use my board on the passenger side to raise this side up and 2.6 degrees I would need two boards uh, on two underneath each tires what I found out uh, by using the board is that each board gives me 1.5 degree of uh, uh, correction so I have 2.6 degrees so I'm close to 3 degrees so I'm pretty sure that uh, if I put two boards on the rear and two boards on the front uh, the Jeep should be uh, should be pretty pretty good and if I measure less than one degree in either direction uh, typically i don't even bother i don't take the boards off uh, i just sleep like that and uh, it, it's, uh, it works pretty well uh, so now let me uh, let me level the jeep so boards are pretty easy to use put the long one here i stuck it underneath the uh, uh, against the, the tire here and then i put the, uh, the small one kind of the the center uh, of the board of the long one and then i'm just going to drive on it and I put uh, I put a chamfer uh, on all the boards uh, so that I can you know just to make it easier to to roll on them. That's the only reason. So I have the one in the rear here. I'm going to do the same thing on the front, and then I'll just drive on it. So if I remember correctly, I had 0.8 front to rear and I had 2.6 side to side. And now I have 1.4, 1.3 front to rear and 0.9 side to side. So I'd be okay with that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I would sleep, uh, sleep pretty well. So 
So now let me show you uh, the other ways uh, I use those, uh, those boards. So another way I could use these boards is if I have a flat tire and I need to uh, lift one wheel off the ground, I'll just put those, uh, all the boards underneath the axle, just like that, and then use my bottle jack and then uh, I can lift the, uh, lift the wheel because the Jeep is lifted so if I didn't have that it would be uh, pretty difficult uh, to lift it and I'm not, I don't always have my, uh, my high lift with me so that's uh, one other way I use these boards so in order to show you the other ways I use those boards I need to put them back on the rear of the Jeep on the trailer hitch uh, but I'm going to show you uh, how I attach them to the trailer hitch um, I didn't want to store the, the board inside the Jeep, so uh, the only way I could think of was to put them uh, right there, use the trailer hitch as a, as a support. Um, but of course I was kind of afraid that uh, uh, somehow they would get loose and uh, fall when I was driving on a highway or on the trail, and I definitely do not want that to happen. So I came up with a, with a system to just lock them uh, in place and uh, let me show you how that works okay so i have the four boards here this is the top one those are the center one and this is the bottom one um, so i made this uh, contraption here and the way it works is uh, this uh, big bolt here uh, go on a trailer on the trailer hitch hole and those two uh, little ones uh, they go through the bottom board and the middle one where I have locating hole here so then when they are together it goes like this so that's the bottom board then I need to put this one like that so that this hole here matches with this one just like that same thing with this one so those are the, the middle middle board and then I put the top board here on top of the uh, the other ones and if you look underneath here what I would do and I'll show you later so this the big bolt here goes in the, the center hole and the, the two locating uh, bolts go on the side and then I have to jiggle a little bit to make sure that all the holes line up here it's easier, easier when I do it on the, on the trailer hitch, but okay, I think they're on. So then, uh, they're not. Okay, now they're on. And if you look from the side here, side view, you can see that those, so those, the center bolts goes all the way through here, through the top, top board. And the two little bolts uh, go through the the bottom board and then uh, they just uh, go in the, the two holes that I have on these uh, the, the short boards and then they don't go anywhere I mean they, they cannot they cannot escape um, and everything stays flat and flush against the, uh, the bumper uh, so let me show you I'll assemble everything put everything back in place and you can uh, you can see how I do it okay let me reinstall all the boards on the trailer hitch so this is the bottom board I put here against the uh, the bumper and I make sure that the the hole here uh, is uh, aligned with the one on trailer hitch then I need to put my two short boards and I have to put them at the same time if not everything will fall so I kind of try to align them as much as I can then I put the top board back on the top same thing I mean if I push push everything against the bumper uh, all the, the holes should, should align and I take my uh, little contraption here and just slide it through the trailer hitch hole and jiggle it and that's it see it was easier um, to do that on the trailer hitch so now I need my the nut which is all the way back there okay I got it That's it, just screw the nut here, the recessed hole, 
the reason it's recessed here is because you'll see when I close the uh, uh, the back door here uh, for the back of the Jeep um, I wanted it to be to be flush so that the, the, the tire doesn't rub with the on the on the bolt and I can just screw that and tighten it I don't want to go too crazy. I just want to be uh, tight. It's gonna move, still move a little bit, but it's secured. And one thing that I did, uh, I drilled a hole on the uh, on the bolt so I can put uh, a pin through it so that the nut would not uh, get loose because I don't want to put any Loctite or anything. So I just put the pin here and. Uh, then it's not gonna go anywhere. So this is how I put it back. It's on. You can see that when I close the uh, the tailgate here, that the uh, the tire, the spare tire, doesn't rub on the on the bolt. So it's uh, it's all good. So now the uh, the boards are back on the Jeep. Let me show you the uh, the other ways I use it. So this one I got pretty lucky. I don't know if you can see, but uh, the the spare tire is um, resting on the board, so it pretty much gives me some uh, vertical supports here on the board. Um, it's not too much extra weight compared to the uh, the, the original uh, wheel and tire. I think it's uh, 11 pounds more, but still, uh, because the the tire uh, now it's, it's not resting against those. Uh, bump stop uh, they, they, they can wiggle a little bit so by resting on the on the boards here uh, it just gives him some uh, uh, some support so that's uh here you go that's uh, another way uh, those boards are used for so and another way i use them well here just to sit it's a pretty nice uh, pretty nice bench and another way just like uh, I have uh, when I put my owning on the side of the of the Jeep, or I need to go and, and, and shake stuff on the on the top of the Jeep. I can use that as a as a stairs or steps. And here you go. I can just step on them. Pretty pretty sturdy. have my cooking box uh, here it's uh, it's inside now I forgot to put it back I need to load it my trip next uh, next weekend but um, I have a cooking box and I need to do a, a video on that for the next video but I can take the cooking box and actually use those boards uh, to put the cooking box on it and then I can cook here um, in, the, in the back of the Jeep so I think that's it so that is it for today. Now you know that those are not the weight that I carry in the back of the Jeep, but the boards, and you know how I use them. Uh, and if you can think about any other uh, use for them, let me know in the comments uh, below. Uh, and this is it until the next uh, video, which will probably be uh, my cooking box. I'll show you how I make it, uh, how I made it and how I use it. Until next time, cheers.